So it was just amazing. We got together, we clicked, we really had a good time and everybody loved us. They loved our performances, our singing, our dancing. And it was a really, really fun time to get up there and just enjoy the, the lots of tweets and retweets and whatnot that we got. Well, we had new blood this year with Mr. Velez and Mr. O and I thought, okay, I need seven members. Uh, I can do this. We have a lot of young guys who are willing well, I was hoping they'd be willing. And they were, well, some of them. But um, they didn't quite understand that this would be a big thing. They were just like, what's BTS? Are the kids gonna know what that is? And I'm like, trust me, you will be great. Well, I love dancing. Um, I love expressing myself through music. Um, and so therefore, it just seemed natural to get together other guys that felt the same way as me. And uh, the dance crew was born. When K-pop took a hold of me, it was like lightning and energy flowing through my veins. My dance moves were electric. And when I finally met the group, it was like a perfect storm. But like all storms, they are unpredictable. Well, that's a new question. <laughs> we, we felt, yeah. we, we really wanted to bring something unique to this campus. We wanted to bring energy that, that we feel like had been lacking and we knew we were the right people for that job. We knew we could bring something special to that show. Well, Denise Hunter and I knew each other from our previous collaboration. Um, you probably saw it on Twitter, not a big deal. I was dressed as 11. Um, she was also involved in the project, though not the star per se. Um, so that's how we knew each other, and she, so she asked if I wanted to be involved in this new project uh, with a couple other guys, and um, yeah, so that's how we got, that's how we got going, and we, um, we worked together. She, she choreographed and uh, set up the dances and the music and stuff. I think uh, too many chefs in the kitchen, right? When you're all equal parts, like yeah, everyone wants to be the star person. I tried really hard to get people to to move around, but there are certain members who just kept staying in the front, uh, like Mr. Harp, Mr. Daly. So I think that's a problem when everyone's supposed to be equal. It's like, maybe we shouldn't have everyone equal. You're famous, aren't you? No, no, that, that's not me, guys. That's not me. I'm pretty sure that's you. It has to be you. You look just like him. Yeah. It's not me. It's not me. I got to go, guys. Have a good one. Yeah. Sure, being in a K-pop group is fun, is exciting. It's electric, the fans are amazing, but after a while, it gets overwhelming. I'm still traumatized by fangirls clawing at my clothes, 
I still have scars on my body from that. Every time I drive by a nail salon, I cringe. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to get away from all that. I'm trying to find some balance back into my life. Well, I wouldn't say what as much as who. Uh, all of us were super committed to the project. We were really just putting our everything into it. And then Sang started talking about his family, right? Like this was something important. And so, you know, he, he started saying, you know, look guys, I need to spend some time with my, with my son, with my wife. Like having one kid is difficult. I mean, so, you know, there are certain things that, that are more important than others. We have to prioritize. And so when it comes down to it, if all the rest of us are committed, but, but one person is not giving it 100%, uh, it just didn't work, and so that kind of laziness, that, that just lackadaisical attitude spreads and it becomes contagious. So, you know, he's talking, he starts talking about wanting to spend time with his family, you know, and then Wallace is like, oh yeah, my wife is asking questions, like, I mean, come on guys, we have something that we all said, this is, this is the most, and then they're just, you know, they're backing out on it, it's just not fair to the people who are fully committed. Well. What happened is we, we had a lot of new members to the group and they brought a lot of new energy and a lot of new skills with them. And some of us older members, some of us who had been here for a while, obviously there'd, there'd be some jealousy and there'd be some rivalry to see someone come in to be new and to pull off dance moves we never even thought we'd be able to pull off was... It can hurt sometimes. And I think that got to us. Well, I don't really want to say this publicly, but I think it's out there. The reality is, is that, look at the tape. If there's anybody that could actually dance, it's me, and that's it. So I kind of felt like the group was holding me back from my potential. So the crew just broke down because of a, well, we'll call it creative differences. They were different, I was creative. Mr. Sang, for sure. No, no doubt about that. Um, he came in and he has very unique ideas about what would be appropriate performance attire. He was willing, if not eager, to show a lot more leg than we were comfortable with. And he stood by that. You know that Mr. Marchant blames it on my shorts. I like to show off my legs. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not my shorts. You know what it is? It's Mr. Harp. Him and his just desire to be in multiple things all at one time. Even that day when we had our show, he was with Miss. Hunter doing their little off thing and all his little offshoot shows and performances, it just really broke us apart. You know, he just wasn't 100% with us. Oh yeah, for sure. So Margent just wanted to spend all his time getting ready for the camera, you know, all concerned with his looks. Couldn't get the guy out of the gym. He's like, I have to look good for the camera. I have to look good, you know, wanting to, you know, call wardrobe every five seconds like anyone's even looking at him. But, you know, he he just wanted to be the center of attention. And we had to keep saying, look, man, we're, we're a group. It's not just about you, but just this constant, you know, you could barely get his eyes off the mirror. It was ridiculous. respond with anything appropriate to that one. <laughs> That'll take some time to think about. What do, you, what do you have to say about the reports that Mr. Reitz is claiming you stole Mr. Daly away from him? I have not heard those. <laughs> um, I, I, my, mm, I, the, the pants don't fit. Mr. Hart started acting like a diva. All the other band members started to act the same way. They all wanted a spotlight. There was infighting. They all wanted their own dressing room. We used to be a group. We used to be a band of brothers. But that's what fame and fortune can do to you. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to get away from all that. I find my peace in the mountains. I find my peace in the deserts. I find my peace in the oceans and the forests. Wherever I could find some peace of mind and some quiet, you'll find me. Uh, at first glance, the obvious choice may look like Mr. Harp. However, 
um, especially because we have Mr. Harp who was the one in the front who was chosen to branch off and do this like stretching move while the other guys stayed in like a cluster. However, during the day of the performance, I was quite surprised and shocked to see Mr. Velez heading off with Mr. Harp just trying to usurp the throne. And so, honestly, I'm sad to say that it was Mr. Velez. Mr. Singh. Um, I mean, the guy just craves attention all the time. So the fact that he was getting uh, emails and DMs from random girls around the world, I think he was enjoying it a lot. Would you say he's the diva from the group or who? Well, I don't know about a diva. I mean, he did like soaking up the attention, but when I think diva, I think someone who thinks they're better than everybody else, doesn't really put in the same effort and practice, that kind of falls on Mr. Wallace. I mean, you watch him on the video, it doesn't even look like he's trying. It's like he doesn't want to be bothered by, you know, putting forth the same effort. So, I'd call him the diva. All right. A lot of people accuse you of being like the diva of the group. Or what do you have to say to that? It's jealousy. That's all it really is. I mean, again, when you look at the tape, there's one person who's actually doing the moves as they're supposed to be done. The rest are just kind of improvisational. What is that? That's not true dance. The dance is an art, and art needs to be expressed in a specific way. If I'm doing it, then diva it is. I mean, I think everybody likes BTS because they're a group that everyone knows, pretty much known worldwide. But other than that, I just I've always thought that I'm really good at dancing. And honestly, I just thought that I could really shine in that group. But the teachers making their own crew is kind of killing my vibe. Did you see their performance? It was awful. The, the body rolls, especially Mr. Dally. Ugh, cannot, cannot. So bad. You know, regardless of dancing, I'm not even going to touch on that because I really don't think it's that hard to see who's really better. I think that we have much better visuals. If you, Have you even seen their costumes? I think one of them, Mr. Marchand was wearing his polo. He wears that every day. I don't think I even need to go further. I'm just going to say that they're definitely a lot worse. Would you be interested in having your group have a dance battle against the teacher's crew in the future? A dance battle? Um, honestly, sure. They're gonna go down and they're gonna be crushed, but that's how it be. Is there any other things you want to say to the teacher's crew or about your crew that you want to make it known? Um, Mr. Harp, I saw you leading the choreo in the front. I commend you for your effort, but I think that we did it. I did. I think that I led my group's choreo a lot better. Well, I'd like to say that, or I'd like to think at least, that we inspired that crew, that uh, they were also people that wanted to come together to express themselves. And so if they want to be rivals, then I welcome the challenge. You know, they could challenge us and we'll be happy to, to show off our skills. I was really proud of Whitney students representing K-pop during International Day. It inspired me to give them some training and help out so K-pop could still be in my life in some way. So, what was your reaction when you found out about the rival dance crew on campus? What? I didn't know there was one? But I've been dealing with uh, coordinating boy bands on this campus for many years, probably that student's whole lifespan. So bring it on. So what's your reaction to the rival crews, quote unquote, saying your group sucks? <laughs> I've never even seen them and I've never even heard of them. So they suck more. Do you think the dance team would be willing to challenge them? 
Uh, we are ready at any point, any time. These are trained dancers. I had them working every lunch for several weeks. We are ready. I, I think the Korean club on campus should be very proud of being the second best Korean dance group around. I think that's something they should hold close to their heart. Rival crews saying that their crew is better and that yours quote unquote sucks. Well, I think it's a difference of opinion. Um, rival crew, every dance crew is different. Uh, what they're trying to express, uh, the kind of music they enjoy, um, their moves. Um, I think it's hard to compare different dance crews. Like, uh, I wouldn't compare country line dancing to hip hop. Um, each crew has their own unique expression. So, if they think we suck, that's just a matter of opinion. Um, but maybe we need to settle it on the dance floor. Would you be willing to challenge them? Oh yeah, any day. Anytime. Now I'm just doing my, I'm um, just waiting for everybody to get back together. You know, I'm just, I'm the patient one. I'm just going to wait out. I'm the team player. I'm going to wait. I'm not doing my own projects. I'm just, just waiting for everybody to eventually come back and realize what errors they made by leaving. Perhaps I'll make it back to K-pop one of these days. But for now, I'm going to find peace and quiet in places like these. Deep down, as much as I might think of myself as better than the rest of them, the, the reality is we need each other. A crew is supposed to be tight, and so the enjoyment of practicing together and working on our moves and just sharing some laughs, I miss it from time to time. Yes. 